the DNA of a of a human being holds a lot of information. You know, it holds a lot of information. You know, from the pe a person's attributes, gifts, the gifts inside of them, their abilities, God-given abilities, wisdom, intelligence, all of that. Bloodline issues, mm. bloodline diseases, bloodline curses, bloodline trauma. You know, you no, know, even yeah, diseases carried that have been in the in the bloodline for for years. It's, it's all there in that DNA. It's all there in those the the cells, the the the, the egg. And the other one from the mother come together to form that child. So it's coming from both sides, the woman and the man. It's very crucial, you know. And then even, even apart from that, on the physical side, on the physical side of things, when you lay with anybody, something happens spiritually. You know, it's a... We, we, it's a very dangerous time we find ourselves with, you know, when um, when fornication is, people have accepted it as a normal thing, you know, adultery in marriages has become a normal thing, you know, casual sex has become a normal thing. People don't know what they are doing. People don't know what they are they are connecting themselves to people don't know what they are downloading into their DNA. So if you don't even get pregnant by whichever person, you've not vetted them and you've not done all of those things. Spiritually, you are connecting with certain things because when a when a masculine and a feminine meets, it's an exchange of energies. Connections are formed. Contacts, connections are formed. A lot of things happen. It's a very dangerous thing people are doing. The very dangerous thing. You know, some some people too want to do threesome. Do you know what you're doing? Do you know do you know the kind of thing you are doing? Do you know God have mercy? They are doing threesome. And some married people feel it's okay. They want to spice up the marriage and all that. You don't know what you're, you don't know what you are doing. Hmm? All of these things we are seeing, we are hearing about it, and it's all, it's all of these things are demonic. De see, demonic things that are happening to transform people, and they don't even know. Hmm? So, before a man and a woman lie together. The first of all has to be that vetting, some kind of vetting, some kind of interview to know: Do I want the, someone like this in my bloodline? Do I want, do I want to create photocopies of this person in my bloodline? Are they going to be a good person? Are they going to wreak havoc in this bloodline? Are they going to destroy everything we have worked so far in the bloodline? Hmm? It's not all about money. People are contacting certain things. And everybody you lie to, you you become you you become part of a connection of a network of all those people they have dealt with. Yes, if you decide to come to that place, you decide to come to Christ to clean, to cleanse yourself, to disconnect yourself from all those contacts, so that what you can be able to create and bring to this earth goodly children. That option is there. But if you don't, then with all those stuff, all those contacts, you've done this, you've done that, you've done three storm, you've done this, you've done that, sorry, it's, it's very dangerous. And all these people you've connected to, you know, there's a connection to all of those, uh, the bloodline cases and all of that, the bloodline traumas from all these people you are connected to and all of this. And, oh my God. A lot of people don't know what they are getting to so they they willingly give themselves and get into some of these things if you know what you are getting into eh, some of you you run 
Do not lay with anybody be, without properly vetting that person. That's why God forbid any man and woman to lie together except it's unto marriage. Because if it's unto marriage, there is a time, there's a way he has he prepares prepares you, both of you. Hmm? That's why God hates some of these things. It's premarital sex, fornication, all of those things. A lot of the problems people are seeing in marriage is because people got into some of these things and then did not did not come to the feet of God, did not come under his feet for him to cleanse and correct and clear all of these strange connections and spiritual things and the things they've contacted with their DNA and all that. They did not come to God to correct these things and they have they went ahead and got married to these people. A lot of the problem. Some of the children you give birth to who are some way, you know, this, you see that there's no good in them. Some of the children, some of the children you may give birth to, you see, that's how way. There's, there's no good in that child. Like, it's only evil, evil, evil. I'm telling you, a lot of it is from some of these things. You know, and God is telling people to come to me, come to me. My doors are open. My burden is light. People think, or oh, how? You think oh, he's stressing you. Today, casual sex has become so simple. I mean, it's, it's everywhere, you know. Some are in because of some some strains, some challenges, and all that stuff. But there are a lot of the youth who are just doing it for fun, you know, for the fun of it. You don't you don't know what you are, the kind of things you are entangling yourself with. You don't know some where how you are connecting yourself to certain things, which will have an impact in your life. I'm telling you. So God has put women here as the gatekeepers to decide what kind of people are we going to leave behind. To continue our generations are they going to be godly children or are they going to be wayward children are they going to be narcissistic children god has made you women gatekeepers of your bloodlines to decide who are we going to keep here and who don't we want here hmm? to all these things going on in the world the evil the hatred the envy the jealousy the attacking the the gatekeepers, the gatekeepers got placed here to be able to make sure that certain kind of people don't come onto this planet to cause havoc, mayhem. That, that, that office he gave to them, a lot of them are not operating in that place because everything in their mind and everything that has been said is what? Money, 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 money. So all they're doing is what? Money. Hmm? Some of you are chasing alpha males. A lot of the alpha males are not connected to their feminine side. I'm telling you. All they're chasing after is money, status, money, status. So, uh, so, so when he's doing something for you, he doesn't even feel. Because he's not connected to his feminine side. To feel for another person, to have compassion on somebody, you are talking about a, a person's feminine side. Every human being has a masculine and a feminine side. Every human being you see on this planet. Every human being has a masculine and feminine side. That is why it's important for a child to stay with his father and mother at the same space so that he's able to inherit. Download this understanding, his masculine and his feminine side. He becomes a balanced child. But if he stays only with his father, he becomes a certain way, even if he's a woman. And when he stays only with his mother, he becomes a certain way, even if he's a man. Very important things. God has set certain laws in play, but human beings said we will not do it because we are wiser, because we are being deceived from the black box, from tablets, from social media. We are chasing alpha males. A lot of the alpha males are disconnected from their feminine side. Hmm? So, you know, see, the way he, a, a lot of them, the way he sees you is like one of his, the cars he has in his garage. He, he sees you like another. You know, he does not really understand what you're saying. He cannot connect that. Can, there are certain things you bring to him. He does not, he's not able to connect emotionally with it. It's not that God has not given every human being the ability. The ability is given every human being to be able to connect to your masculine and feminine side. But some people, because of where they were raised and some of the backgrounds and all that, they did not get access to it. And when 
a, a, a man, a woman comes to God and said, give me a wife, a, somebody to help me. God will make sure that person he's bringing to you is balanced both in their masculine and feminine energies.